Today we're going to show how to uh, measure piano wire. The tool I have here is uh, called a micrometer. Um, this is one type of tool that you can use for measuring piano wire. Another type of uh, tool that you can use is a caliper. The important thing to remember is to use a tool that uh, measures to the closest thousandths of an inch. Uh, because uh, piano wire, the differences from one size piano wire to another is just uh, a thousandths of an inch. So you want to have a tool to get the most accurate measurement. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to read micrometer. They have digital ones. Uh, this is the type that we sell in our store. Uh, it's fairly easy to read once you figure out how the system works. But you can see there's lines. Uh, we've, I've got it set at zero. And uh, as you can see, the barrel is all, all the way closed. Uh, but as we turn it this way, you can see the barrel is opening now to measure. And, um, and then there are lines here. Okay. The other thing is, if you, if you turn the end of the barrel here on this end, and uh, turn it till it clicks, that's going to be the right amount of pressure. If we turn this side, or this, this part of the barrel, and turn it by hand, you can actually go past if you tighten it too, too far. Okay, so it's always good to, uh, with this type of uh, tool to, to, to do it until it clicks on the end uh, of the barrel. Okay, um, now as we turn it uh, this way, okay, the, the, the smallest lines here, they're actually a half of a thousandths, okay, so that would be, that there would be a half a thousandths. If we go a little bit further to the first, the next largest line, that's going to be one thousandths of an inch. Okay, if we keep going up, that's two thousandths of an inch, three thousandths of an inch, you know, all the way up to a longer line, which indicates five thousandths of an inch. Okay, and if we went to keep going up another five, there we've got ten thousandths of an inch, fifteen thousandths of an inch, twenty thousandths of an inch, and here it shows back to zero, but are actually at twenty-five thousandths of an inch. Now further inside here, if we kept moving this barrel out, you can see that there are, are lines in here. Okay, and the, what that shows is um, each one of those lines represents 25 thousandths of an inch. So if we go back to the zero here and we're on the, the first line, that would be 25 thousandths of an inch. If we kept going out, back to zero again, there we got 50 thousandths of an inch. 75 thousandths of an inch, and when we get to the fourth line out um, on the main barrel, that's going to be 100 thousandths of an inch, or 0.1. And you can see that there's a, a 1 right above that line. If we kept going out, you could see that there's a 2, which would be 0.2, and this micrometer actually goes up to 1 full inch. So um, we're going to go back to a size that would work for our piano wire. One size of wire that I've got here we're going to measure. So I'll put it here between the barrel and then close it with the okay so that should be our measurement and as you can see we're past the first line here on the inside which would be more than 25 and and this is a little twisted so you want to make sure that the the wire is straight before you go to tighten it and if there's a little curve to it that can affect the the measurement okay there we go for the yeah. so it's 25 plus the 20, which would be 45 thousandths of an inch. So this wire is 45 thousandths of an inch in, uh, in diameter. Okay, we're going to take another wire here, which is just a little bit smaller. And we'll do the same thing here, again, making sure that it's... Um, that the curve isn't affecting the measurement at all. 
there we're at about uh, we're still past the 25 but then we've got uh, the 10 11 and then 12 so 12 plus 25 would be 37 so that's going to be 37 thousandths of an inch for that wire <clears throat> the other type of wire you can uh, measure is here we've got a, a piano bass wire and if you can see it's got the copper winding on it. This is an old one so it's not very bright colored copper but uh, if you're ordering a universal bass string the only main um, measurement that you should be concerned about is uh, this um, the, uh, the outside diameter of the of the wound part of the string. Okay so we're going to measure that <coughs> If you're doing a custom base string, you know, there are other measurements that you want to consider, but uh, again, we'll put the, the wound part of the string between the barrel there. Okay, and what I'm, what I'm actually going to do in this one, because it's a little bit hard to hold it and show you, so once I've got it in place, there's a, there's a lock here that I can lock that, so I've got, uh, so this can't twist on me while I'm while, while I take the wire out and while I read my measurement. Okay, so we're past um, the 1, which will be point 1. We're actually on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 line there, which would be uh, 25 times 6 would be 150, so that's 150. And then from there, we're at the 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 plus 150 that would be 168 thousandths. Okay, so 168 thousandths of an inch is uh, the size of that uh, base wire. <clears throat> and that's uh, when you're ordering base wire, we don't have a size for every thousandths, but you want to get the one that's whatever be closest to um, what you need. So that's a good uh, demonstration on how to measure piano wire. Um, it, uh, if, you've, if, you're if you've got a tool that measures in millimeters, it should work uh, very similar to that. Um, and we've got a millimeter conversion chart <clears throat> on our website and the piano wire listings.